there's only one. There's only one active ally remaining. Who is, is this guy? Get some health back. So the active allies. No. No. No, it got me. Got me again. Alright. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. So I said I said that if I died one more time, I would quit and go explore other post-game content. Now the real question is, am I a liar? I'm not. It is not the time for this. <laughs> you heard Kratos. Mm, time to climb back down the wall of shame. The wall of shame and failure. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh. No, down, down. We're going down. Down the way of shame. Oh, oh. all right. Apparently we need to be level higher than level five for level level three of Muspelheim. Or correction, I need to be level higher than level five for Muspelheim. I think the last time I tried this, I was like level seven or eight. And I was playing on normal. As it goes, man, as it goes. Which means there's only one place for me to go. Only one place for me. What, what's going on? I like jumped over this ledge. Oh, that's where the dead body was. Not actually anything for me to complete here. Here we go. And the last place for me to go is the Lake of the Nine. I dropped for a little second. Yeah, this, uh, I think it actually has to do with this streaming program that I've got. I think every four hours it drops for a second. Because I, I checked out the stream VOD from yesterday, and every, like, four hours on the dot, it, uh, it dropped for, like, a second or two and, like, restarted new. I think it might have to do with the, uh, the amount of time required to record VODs, but I don't actually know that. I don't actually know. Well, there's, um, hmm, how much time have we got? We have about half an hour left in the stream. There's a special item that you can only get if you know where it is. I'm gonna try and get that. It's gonna be kind of a time crunch to grab it. Wait, what? This is the, this is the, this is where I showed up. I gotta tra do the travel through realms thing. It's gonna be kind of a time crunch to grab it, but I'm gonna do my best. If I if I go a little over, that's fine. That's hunky dory. I did a 10 hour stream yesterday. I can go a little over tonight, right? A little bit over. I think I got a date tomorrow, so. Midgard, yeah, that's fine. So I want to get to sleep at some point, but last night, man, last night I got done streaming. I did a, I did a solid like hour on the, or not, not an hour. I did a solid like 30, 40 minutes on the, on the uh, stationary. And then I still couldn't get to sleep. Like I streamed for 10 hours. <laughs> I rode a bike for half an hour and then I was like, well, can't sleep now, <laughs> you know. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe too much caffeine last night. I had less tonight. Definitely had less tonight. I had less caffeine, and hopefully that helps. Hopefully that helps me pass out at a reasonable time frame. Date sounds pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty excited. Exercise gives you energy. It's true. Is 
So to get behind Jotunheim, I, still can't believe he ate it. I think I actually have to either... I can't go in the Witch's Cave. I'm pretty sure... Or do we, to get behind the uh, the tower in order to do the special item. Okay. Obviously the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did I think I actually have to do this world? area. Oh, this area that's right next to where we took off. Even for Odin. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. <laughs> Wow. Need more dodge. Gotcha. Gotcha, though. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to need the axe for this portion. So I need to climb up to the tower that's on the right of me for the item that I'm looking for. Well, this is a pretty good time to grab that said item. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my best to get there. And we're approaching the area that's like pretty close to my uh, to my first time playthrough, my last playthrough, which I completed not actually that long ago. So I actually remember this area pretty well. Hmm. This game's awesome. It is awesome. I very highly agree. I bought a PlayStation just to play it, and I've been telling people it's like the best fucking decision I've made in a long time. I mean, you know, I mean that's not that much competition. Like I've made a lot of bad decisions. What's going on here? Okay. Hey, what's this? What's this? What's up, Mindstab no Troll? This one is Thrym, a frost giant king. Correct. A cunning one as well. You hate the that camera? You? The camera? Did he steal Thor's hammer? I think the camera does a pretty good job most of the time. A lot of these seem to end with Thor killing them. But I'm just some asshole, so. Your ice is melting. Why do I still have no health? I don't know, man. I uh, there were a couple of areas where I was like, well, now I'll get the the second upgrade, for the second health upgrade, and I just like didn't. That might be by why the um, why the fire realm is so difficult to me right now, because I still have pretty piddly health. I pretty much just ran through the. Uh, the story mode of the game as quickly as possible. Oh, hey, how you doing, Traveler? What's up, friend? What's up, buddy? Could you not, though? That's the, that's the real question. So I had a full Spartan Rage built up, and I meant to hit it right there. But I'll hit it now. It's fine. Let's release the hounds.
That's my boy. Runic damage is OP. And that doesn't uh, that doesn't change at any point in the game. It's always OP. If you're ever having... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we got the, the portal there. So, people who have not played this game, and even most of the people that have, there's a trick to this area. I'm going to try and remember it. It's like left, center, right, all the way left, down. I might have to, I might, I might actually have to cheat for this area. But, but, uh, but to be fair, it involves a cheat code. So here I am in the center. I go left, center, right, left, center. You're that gong. That means that I'm like part of the way there. I fucked it up. I definitely fucked it up. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how to complete it. I remember the first half. That's what the gong is for. But there's a cheat code to complete this. There's like some uh, some left, right, down, upright game, up, upright, left, right, some some shit. It's not actually a cheat. PS4. Yeah, hearing the gong means. You would laugh if it was the old Konami code. It's not. It's like it like looks like it, but it's not. I'm trying to cheat, man. I'm trying to cheat right now. I'm trying to look it up the the cheat. But I'm like failing to find it. I can't even cheat correctly. Yeah, the gong signifies that you're halfway through the code. But the only thing this is the only part of the game that's like this. That you can input a code. It involves like a left, right, up, down sort of shit. It's very difficult com to complete, but I actually can't find the code that tells me how to do it. I can't find the same screen that I found on my first playthrough. It's, it unlocks a special item that I think would actually be useful right now, but I can't find it, so eh, whatever. I only have like 20 more minutes left in the playthrough tonight, so I'm not too worried about it. But it's up there. Some people on Reddit figured it out. It was a code that was shown to you from the um, from the collector's edition, which I do not actually own. Which is another reason I feel okay at failing the code. Is that I don't actually own the collector's edition. Hey, hey. thanks, Gide. Well, I'm like right next to the pommel, so I think I'll... Hi. Since you found the link. marriage wasn't punishment enough. Since you found the link, I think I'll do it literally right now because I'm like right next to where you get it. All in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magic, it became more than she could stomach and at long last she broke it off. Dude, the head, the head telling you a story is probably more entertaining than me uh, playing the game right now. So it's you start looking forward and then you go left then you go forward again, then you go right, then you go left. And then you go forward, then you go down, then you go right, then you go left, then you go forward. I can do that, right? This took me a number of tries. This took me a number of tries on my first attempt. So I'm looking forward, then left, then center, then right, then left, then forward, then down then right, then all the way left again, then center. Feel to hear the gong. Basically what I'm trying to do is order, is uh, open up a, a rift. Open up a rift, I'm trying to, it's not, it's not exactly a cheat code, but it's real close. It's real close to a cheat code to get a special item in this game. So left, center, Right, 
left. Yeah, you hear the gong. Center, down, right, left, center. There we go. We got it. Hell yeah. It's also it's also easy. Now this is an item that's actually not that great. But it's good for where I'm at in the game currently. So you compare it to what I was using, that's like that 466, four, four, four strength, six runic, six luck. Yeah. <laughs> Eight six 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 six. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of abilities for this stage of the game. So the last time that I unlocked this, I was pretty close to the end of the game, and I was like, yeah, why not? I'll check it out. And that was less than useful. That was not a good time to unlock this. That was not, that was not great, to put it simply. Because um, I already had something better. But right now is the perfect time. Because I did not have something better. That is, that is great. Hmm, like half health. Half health should be fine for exploring the Lake of the Nine. There's a dragon I could set free. What time is it? 1.40? Could I set free the dragon in 20 minutes? That's a good question. I could try. I could probably get to the twenty to the dragon in twenty minutes. Probably get there. Get down. Counterintuitively, hitting random barrels is good off. with your canoe. In real life, if I was paddling a canoe, but her magic was so much I would avoid the barrels. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities Ooh, and gold. exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgar. But still, he robbed her of a warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. So if you're listening to Mumir and you watched the whole entire stream, she have but isolation? Poor Freya. when she said that she had no her. use of her arrows when she gave them to, uh, to our boy, so she was not lying. She can't actually fire her arrows into uh, with the intent to kill. Do I need to stop off here? Can I actually keep just keep continuing? Doesn't look like there's a barrier. Looks like looks like I can keep going. Did she fire with intent to harm? No, she uh like I said, she gives the she gives the boy her arrows because she has no 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 uh no purpose for them anymore. Now, I believe this area that we're coming up to here is the land of the dead dwarf king, which is where we can free a dragon if we so please. We don't have to. I seem perkier than usual. The game is pretty fun. I agree. Hmm. No, this isn't the land of the dwarf king. I'm gonna look at the map real quick. Hmm. There's a Valkyrie up there. Yeah, I'm like pretty close to that Valkyrie specifically. I could go fight it. Be a little hard at level five. I think I went the wrong direction though, for where I was intending to go. Pretty close. Did she, did she explain why green arrows were bad? Uh, she didn't explain the game did. Basically, 
I think it was Mimir that pointed it out. Basically, green arrows are, uh, well, it's not just green, it's, uh, it's mistletoe. Mistletoe was the one plant that could break the spell that she cast upon her son. Come here. To make him immortal. Why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants? It was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged So she was just trying to protect her kid. The giant kings. When she took away his uh, his green arrows and threw them in the fire. And the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted The state had you about? Hi, the stay hydrated bot. Yeah, he's a he's a buddy. And taking Odin at his word and his desire for just wants you to stay hydrated. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. I don't think there's much to do here. We can do it anyway. Juggling here. Rest until you are complete. Do 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 Basically, he just wants us to get, go get some bones. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvik's bones and spread them across Three of her bones. I'm not gonna have enough time to complete that side quest. So I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna just tell you. The boy gets all hopeful. Father? About, about finding the bones. bones. Why? Yeah, can you see. Hear him? We can talk to mom again. Yeah, we, we can't do that. What do you wish, boy? I will not be distracted by Can't this fool's errand. I thought that was the way... Well... I thought that was the way to the Dwarven region, so but I was slightly mis misconstrued. It's slightly to the rest, to the right of us, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, uh... To spy and steal their secret wisdom. I'm gonna just clear this area Come instead. We'll this up later. <laughs> Right. Right. I like the sound of a animal screaming in the distance. These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Can we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of it. His spirit lies to you, boy. No oh, mean spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. No. This one's not different. Kratos is actually right. We'll close a realm tear, why not? Why not? Sup a Polish sniper. How's it going? What it is, Chief? What it is, how it do? I think we <laughs> I guess I'll enter here. Why not? Why wouldn't I? How much left is left now in the game? Uh, we actually completed the game. What we are doing now is the uh, the side quests and post post game content. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. So we completed the entire story level. Funny how life works, isn't it? 
He's chained up. And now I'm uh keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads. Now I'm failing at uh clearing the the extra stuff. I'll just go through the same the same door a third time. Well I told you folks I told you folks that it might clear it that it might free a dragon. And here's a dragon. So, we'll try. Do our best. This is one of the dragon shrines. Always no what well, Miria is explaining is that this particular dragon used to be a dwarf. And he was turned into a dragon somehow. Ooh, hell. The chats don't mind if I do. So we cleared the shrine that was on the right side. Oh, that's not anything. Haha! -ha. Now we're gonna clear the shrine that's on the right side. And then I'm not sure what there is after that. There are three shrines for all of them. There we go. What's up, traveler? Need some axe for this. Oh no. Yeah, I don't have a I don't have a red stone. I thought it was fine and then I died, so that's uh that's real the the real lesson of the game. Is you're never fine, I guess. Alright, so what was I doing? I was going to the right, not that right, but this right. Jumping across the ledge. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that got me killed last time. But better. And we're gonna do the same thing, but better. Oh, that's gonna hit me. Well, that's most of my health. Why has the wolf not been... Could you, could you summon them? Okay, sweet. Look at that. Oh, I, was gonna, I was gonna say very arrogantly, no, not even any need for Spartan Rage. But I killed a zombie that explodes upon death and then died to it, as there was no minion left in the realm that could kill me. I literally just like died to a uh, um, what's the word? Hmm. <laughs> died to being shit. That's what I died to. These things aren't even that difficult. I'm just gonna do this. It'll make things slightly, slightly more cut and dried. So, how I died last time, I did the literal exact same thing. Instead of tumbling away, I stood there like a dumbass, staring at an explosion, and died to it. So that's twice that I've cleared that particular 
small area, the small side area that should not kill anyone, and stared into the explosion and died instead. It's kind of a metaphor for, for life, really. It's kind of a metaphor for trying. The real lesson is, don't try. I thought I was, like, overkilling it. With my use of the, uh, the Spartan Rage last time. Oh, Jesus. This time I'll try blocking occasionally, see if that helps out. So this time, I did not actually... Yeah, except for at the end, I didn't actually uh, step away from the explosions, just like the other times. Only this time I didn't... Uh Didn't take any other damage. <laughs> I just like literally took no other damage except for the uh, the uh, the exploding exploding bodies. I think I just need to go in there. Completed everything else, right? This is like two out of three things down. How do I get up to there? Looks like I'll have to go left somehow. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Oh, whoo. piece of health. Don't mind if I do. Oh, hey! What are you, what are you doing? Return to the anchor. Yeah, we can do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this chest first real quick. Real quick. Did I finish the run? I am... I have indeed finished the run. This is me just like dicking around for funsies, as you have guessed. Hold on. Let me read this. Cause I usually stream till about two in the morning, so I'm doing a little bit of the post game content. Which you can I mean you can do in the middle of the storyline if you really want to. But I'm basically just killing time until the end of the stream. There's another one, huh? We're about to hit that, uh... Yeah. That firestorm. That dragon breath. Ooh, hello. There's a witch back there somewhere. We're gonna clear that real quick. Cool. So now we should be able to clear this shrine and free this dragon who was a past dwarf, apparently. There's actually fr three different dragons. Three different dragons that you can free. This is only one of them. But that is a, that is a part of the, uh, the post-game content. So we completed the storyline of the game. Go, ya wee little bugger. <laughs> ya wee little bugger. It's almost too easy, right? Well, almost too easy. So I think that's uh I think that's going to complete the God of War stream. If people really want me to, I can do a run where I like uh clear all the Valkyries next week. We only completed uh one tonight after the end of the uh after the end of the the uh, the story time gameplay the story the story playthrough 
Yeah, there's uh there's eight other Valkyries that we could do. We could go do that. Um, but it is just fighting. It's literally just like grinding your face into a into a Valkyrie's wing until they're done, until they're dead. It's not quite as interesting as when there's the occasional cutscene and what have you. But the game is sweet, gorgeous game. The end bosses are sweet, also also awesome. The whole game is awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it right here because we just like set a dragon free. It seems like a thing you might wanna you might wanna save after. And uh and yeah, I'm done for the night. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna be streaming some Magic of the Gathering. I don't know if any of you are fans of that. But I'm probably gonna do draft. We'll see. On Tuesday, I'm going to be playing in the Standard Super League. I have a pretty good idea of the types of decks that I would want to play in that, but I might do a I might do a test run either tomorrow or on Monday of the sort of decks that I would like to play. But most of all, I would like to thank you all for hanging out and watching, even though this is not my typical content, even though this is not my typical game, it is still a great game. And I'm, gra I'm, I'm super glad to have streamed it for you, and uh, hopefully some of you got to live it vicariously through me. It's a gorgeous game, gorgeous game, excellently designed, well, uh, well written, just everything. Great characters, beautiful game. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm done. Cheers, everybody. Killed the out. Killed the out. <laughs>